Hi, I'm James Ward, a technical evangelist for Flex at Adobe. So I wanted to walk through some of the applications that I've been building for my Android device using Flash Player and Air. So Adobe Air is the desktop runtime, but also now the mobile runtime. We can build native mobile apps with it. And then Flash Player is uh, how we run Flex applications and Flash content in the browser. So let me show you some of these demos. First one, uh, there was a component out there for like a Google stock uh, style chart. And so what I did was I integrated it into the multi-touch. So I can now multi-touch and zoom in or zoom out and zoom in uh, to this chart and scroll it around. So this is just pretty much an out of the box flex component that I customized and added the, the touch uh, gestures there into it. So that was pretty cool. Let's take a look at some other ones here. So this is an application that I use to benchmark uh, Flex performance, and this is the browser version. So running the browser, and this is Flash Player uh, running a Flex 3 application. I can run this, I can pull down 20,000 records from my server, render that inside of this data grid. Uh, there we can see we loaded all 20,000. We can do sorting on the client side uh, instantaneously of this data, so super fast data there. And I have the same thing running actually as an air application. So this is an air application. Uh, we can go out and fetch that same uh, 20,000 records and should happen in the same amount of time. Same application running both in the browser uh, and uh, on the mobile device here natively. So we could also take advantage of, of some of the other things uh, on the mobile device uh, that, that is not capable, in the, capable of in the browser, such as um, persistence of data and those sorts of things. This application uh, is one that shows how we can hook into a Flex 4 list uh, and scroll through the list with, with the uh, touch gestures there. So, so I can touch this content and then, uh, and then scroll through this, this Flex 4 list uh, of a bunch of tweets, just an example there of how we can do list scrolling. and once once again, same application here, running an air application should be should work uh, the exact same as it did there in the browser. And then here's my favorite. This one is pretty cool because we can take advantage of some of the other flex components that are out there. So one of those components is is this uh, this heat map from iLog. And this heat map will actually be pushed in real time who's viewing samples in Tour to Flex right now. So uh, there we go. Somebody has viewed one. That's great. Uh, and so great, great application there. But one of the things I want to do with this in the native version is I wanted to, first of all, add the gauge so that when we're in portrait mode, we can see the gauge of, of how many people are viewing samples per minute. Uh, in Tour to Flex. I uh, should start to receive some information there uh, as people start to view some samples. But I hooked into the orientation APIs. So now when I rotate this, uh, what will actually happen is it will take away the gauge because we don't have the screen real estate for it and then go full screen on just the heat map. Uh, so that's something that we couldn't do in the browser, uh, but it's pretty cool there. So, so and we can rotate back and now we get the gauge uh, back into the application and, and the heat map. So. So pretty cool examples of what we can do with uh, Flex and Air on these Android mobile devices. Thanks for watching.